Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the prime factorization of 180. So we are breaking 180 down into its prime factors, the prime numbers that multiply to equal 180. So taking a look at 180, we need to start breaking this down by thinking of two factors, two numbers that multiply to give us 180. Well, three and 60 are factors. Three times 60 equals 180. So let's break 180 down into three and 60. Now keep in mind, there are other factors we could have started with here. For example, two and 90. And there are other options as well. These will all work. Depending on the number, there can be multiple different factors that we can use. So there can be multiple ways we can do these. But in the end, we will get to the same prime numbers. And that's what's important. Now let's continue to break this down. So we have three and 60. Three is a prime number. So we are done here. We can't break that down any further. So let's circle three to show that we have a prime number. 60 on the other hand is a composite number. We can break 60 down. So let's think of factors. Well, two and 30 are factors of 60. Two times 30 is 60. So let's break 60 down into two and 30. Now two is a prime number. We can't break that down any further. So let's circle two. 30, we can break down. So we need to think of factors. Five and six are factors of 30. Five times six equals 30. So let's break 30 down into five and six. Five is a prime number, so we are done here, but we can break six down. So factors of six, well, two and three. Two times three equals six. So let's break six down into two and three. Both two and three are prime numbers, so we are done here and here. And that's the prime factorization of 180. We don't have anything else that we can break down any further. We have all prime numbers. So let's write this out as 180 equals, and then we can write out our prime factors in order from least to greatest, and we are multiplying them. So let's start with two twos. So two times two times, then we have two threes. So times three times three, and then we have one five. So times five. If we have the correct prime numbers, they will multiply to equal our original number. So let's check. Two times two is four, times three is 12, times three is 36, times five is 180, so we are correct here. So there you have it. There's the prime factorization of 180. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, Peace.